and that was a pain. Um, we don't really need to worry about burgers or anything like that. I'm not going to worry about those vehicles. I th I can't remember if it's this place or not, but one of these places around here has, uh, they're full of nothing but toilet paper. I can't remember if it's the bait shop or if it's actually the burger place, but the devs put that in to screw with people. Now, running those over does hurt your vehicle, but I would rather run those over. Get our first helmet here. And we also get our first watch as well. Put that on our left wrist. It is 6 p.m., which is unfortunate. But we also get our first helmet, so we can wear that. clear out down here if I'm not mistaken this is the gas station here so we definitely want to clear out in the area around this yep breaking windows to get to us here they come plus one nimble is good nimble is your movement speed while you're in the stance that's my fault one trait point so we got one trait point here we could do three of them engage shotgun shells is not going to help us most shotguns you run into are 12 gauge there's a 572 round box of 50 mag rounds there is no 50 mags in this game There is no 50 mags in the game because uh, Sophie Collection removes the ability to get those. Let's go down a little bit further and see if there's more. I think this is the police station right over here to the left. There's a zombie here. Yep, there's the police station. Good thing about having a long blunt weapon, you are way less likely to hurt the clothes of the zombie you're hitting, so you can usually wear what they have. Uh, pharmaceutical factory address, okay. I'm not going to go in the police station right yet. I'm going to actually probably set up over at the... Deal. Ooh, that's a good truck. I love that truck. I'm probably going to set up over at the gas station across the road first. And then we'll come over here and look and see what we can get in here. Okay, there's still there's somebody in there. They might be in a cell, though. So they probably ain't going to get free anytime soon. Let's go over to the gas station. Yeah, there's at least one more down there we can see. Probably a couple more. And clear it out and then we'll go get our car and bring it down here we can also fill up all of our gas cans as well another watch let's take that we can dismantle that later for some xp not worried about them busting anything up right now Mm 
little upsetting, but it's nothing. Uh, these ice machine, if you're in a vanilla city, there's not going to be anything in them. I have never once found anything in any of them, except for when they're on the modded maps. So don't even try. You're not going to find anything. In the modded map, you'll find ice cream in them. These uh, telephones are really good to... Um, take apart for electrical seal, but we don't have electrical one red, so kind of doesn't matter. Let's take all the cigarettes that they have and the lighters and the matches because we can... It's what, mainly what I came in to the side of the building for is to get some cigarettes and stuff. That's where you go to get them. Uh, two pack. Oh, there's our ashtray that we need. So with us having an ashtray, our cigarettes, when they're cigarette butts, which gets added with the smoker, will automatically go into the ashtray, which is also added by smoker. So we don't have cigarette butts in our inventory. Eventually, it'll fill up when we have to um, uh, take and empty it, but that's usually not a big thing. Okay. All these maps. Grab one of those. Grab one of those. Grab one of those. Grab one of those. Guide to Grace will give us the graceful trait, which is nice. Which is uh, not going to give us nimble. But it will give us the other bonus. I can't remember what the other bonus is, but it'll give us another bonus. Um, we don't need to take any of that. We don't need any of that. Bathroom, we don't care about. Right the second. Stuff this off into here. Uh, the giant water bottles comes from the canteen and bottles mod. You can treat it as just like a uh, dispenser bottle, but it doesn't go on any of the dispensers in the game. There's nutritionists. There's tinkering, which will keep us tinkering. And there's the Pokemon pack. Newspaper. Can opener that we don't need. Hot dogs and stale stuff already. This has things I've already checked it. Okay. Let's go and continue on down here. There is hmm. Okay, is new house storage. We can open it. As a gas can, we'll take it. I usually like keeping five of them on me or uh one in one large gas container or two and one or two small ones in my vehicles. Rain boots we could use if we wanted to, but I'm not worried about it. Doesn't look like there's really... They're probably going to come over when we bring our car down here, but we should be okay. There's somebody right here. There's somebody right here. Let's go ahead and go take care of them. Got a hole in it. So you can still put a hole in something, or it could come with a hole already in it for... Uh, close but it's less likely to do that if you have the uh, 
if you have blunt weapons. But we seem to have cleared it out down here, so we're going to go ahead and come down here and get our car down here. I'm wondering if that's actually a water tanker or if it actually has gas in it. It's pretty. It's going to be busted up, so we ain't going to be able to go anywhere with it. I was going to see if it has... Yeah, it's got a fuel tank on it. It's got 10 gasoline in it. Okay. Not much. I want to I wanna really check to see if we can get this bus, though. I like having the bus, but the problem is, is I really can't set up the bus until I have a, uh, a sledgehammer. Because you, you have to pretty much knock out all the seats inside of it. If you want to use it as a mobile base. And see that our car just sitting there still has um, gasoline in it. Uh, gas is going to be on the passenger side, I want to say. No, it's going to be on the driver side. Okay, so we got to go down here to the far ones. on the driver's side. Okay. And so we we're completely full there. Let me open up my vehicle car. Okay. Dump all this in here. Okay. Give me all the gas cans here. That one that has some in it. There are three. Yeah, I'm no, no, I don't usually have a car with this small of a trunk, so I'm not sure if I can. Um. And also, why can I right click on this? There it goes. Fill all gas cans. Yeah, I just cannot find it. I'm like right there in front of it. There it goes. Take fuel gas can. Yeah, it can't fit all of them in there. So what we do, go inside. And then one of the right rear seats, we put this in there. That ding is for our trunk is open. All right. Uh, let me see real quick. Grab. This.
Hmm. Maybe we, I don't know if we just can't sleep on this one or if it's in like a bad spot. I was hoping to do it way down there so we get more reaction time in case we, if we get caught, but no, we can't just, we, I guess we just can't sleep on that one. Damn. Um, there's nothing like um, protection. There's no like other chair in here. Okay. Can't get in there. All right, this is going to be very dangerous, but it's all I got is sleeping in the car. It's going to be very dangerous. We'll see if we wake up. Let me set an alarm here real quick. We did wake up. Okay. Doesn't look like anybody wandered over in the night, so that's good. Um, we need some food in us, so let's see what we got here. Eat a chocolate. We're still double plus plus, so yep, this should fill us up. Get in a car, and we're going to drive over to the gas station. I mean, not the gas station, but the police station. Okay. Let's clear this out and see about getting inside and getting some weapons. Hopefully no alarm. Nope. Okay, there's somebody in this door. Let's check and see how many. Just this one? Okay. Got us a little bit of extra protection now. Okay, there's our racer. Probably gonna be stale. Yep, already stale. Unfortunate. Matches. Backyard smelting. Just a piece of paper in the lockbox. Okay. Go 
to pick the clip. Bathroom. Nothing in the cell. Interview room doesn't have anything in it. Nobody gave us a key, so we're going to have to try and pry it open. Does it say we not have a screwdriver? Did I... I might have accidentally put it up, but it doesn't matter anyway, because some mod is making it where I can't... Um, disassemble the doors when they're locked anyway. I'm not sure which mod is doing that, but usually you can disassemble any door with the deal. Let me put this off in their backpack. Drop all this off in here. with that so it doesn't go anywhere here with that as well is that empty nope it's not empty yet so i'm pretty sure we can't disassemble it, it won't let us it'll come up and say we can't yep i can't do this because it is locked i don't know what mod is doing that but it really upsets me because I know you can do this in certain... You can do this in vanilla. At least you used to. Because I've seen people do it. And also, for whatever reason, the pry bar dar thing is not letting me pry it. I don't know why, but it's not letting me pry it. So let me do this, and we're just going to beat down the door. It would be better if we had an axe. Axe does like 50 damage per swing. Here we go. Grab this doorknob. Any cleaning kits. Okay, so fingerless tactical gloves. We'll use these because they're better than ours. Crash helmet has pretty high installation not much on this one so we'll not use that armored jacket has a bunch of stuff on it so we'll wear this it replaces our police jacket that's worse this is uh yeah and this is a short police armored jacket Okay, so we got some shotgun shells, a 308, and some spec rounds. Another gun cleaning kit and walkie talkie military, which we don't need. Weapon lights, mm, mags. Damn. I was hoping for a weapon. Military gas mask, okay. Tactical gloves, we'll wear those. A motorcycle helmet, which is actually really good. A um, couple bulletproof vests, we'll wear one. You know, replace our high visibility and we'll take another one with us for backup. Now, the reason why the motorcycle helmet is really good. Oh, actually... Huh, I wonder if something changed it. Used to, on the motorcycle helmet, didn't it protect the neck as well? I thought that was the thing of great about the motorcycle helmets, because it also, like, protected the neck, I thought. I don't want that because so much insulation, which we already got a pretty good bit of on us. Okay, no guns whatsoever at the police station. So that sucks. I was hoping for something good. 
I was hoping for at least a pistol. Shotgun would have been great. All right, so let me drop all of this stuff up in here, which we can't because we're full now. Yeah. Let's see if we can get into this truck because I would definitely take this truck if we could. It's a very good truck. We can get into it. No key there. Um, there we go. Key in the glove compartment. Okay. Let's check and see how bad off it is. Uh, is it the right side or the left front? Might be the left front. Yep, there it is. It's actually pretty good. It's not as great a quality, of course. Uh, engine quality, it's not going to be. But everything else is pretty good. There's no spare tire on it. The light bar is pretty damaged, but I don't think I'm ever going to use it. We don't need the rear truck seat. Uh, gas tank has some in it. Has 100% remaining. Uh, so it is fully... Oh, the overall condition is only 90, 79%. I thought it was 100%. The battery is at 90, 79% as well. Oh, that's the overall condition of the vehicle. Okay. The front right brake is the big problem. And the light bar. But everything else looks great. Okay. Open up the trunk. So this should have like, yeah, it's got a hundred on it. Uh, we don't need the toilet paper. We don't need the plastic bag. We don't need the empty bottle. We'll take all of this out of our bag. And transfer it over. And we're switching over to this vehicle. We can, uh, we can actually, um, uh, transfer, um, we can actually just transfer everything over here, vehicle to vehicle. Let me go grab the vehicle here. I'm not going to worry about taking all the gas out of this. The problem with cars for me is they don't have enough room in the back, technically, for me. It's always the problem with any type of car is they never have enough room in the trunk. Uh, it's not close enough to do it. got to make sure we can stand in both uh, boxes. Let me grab all this stuff and get it out of the way. Because I think it's like interfering, especially the bag. Take all of this. Now this is also going to fill up the truck pretty much, but we can at least have a little bit more storage. Speed it up with F5. And then we have the cigarette and we're good to go. Trunk is empty. Let's see, grabbing this. Grab all of this. It's gonna park up the car. Cause we're not gonna be using it anymore. It's a really nice car. I just want more room. I I cannot really go below 100 on 
stuff. I just can't do it. It's it just does not work for me very well. And also, I've driven this car before, and it's very, very fun and good truck. So I like it a lot. Okay. Drop all this off over here. Okay, so everything is off in here now. We have just a little bit more room. And we could fit everything in there without having to put it off in our, inside the truck itself. Uh, let me grab all of this stuff. We're going to go ahead and sort out what we want to keep and what we don't here. So we don't need that. We don't need the lipstick. We don't need the sandwich bag. We don't need the two wallets. We don't need the sports and fitness. And we don't need ammonia. Do we have a hand torch already? I don't think so. No, nope, we don't. So our first flashlight. Put off in here. And we favored it. As soon as we get more bags, we'll be able to get more stuff. But we're pretty full right now. One bad thing about this is it doesn't have a gun rack in it. It'd be kind of cool if it had a gun rack in it, but it doesn't. All right, so our next thing, I think we're going to go for right now and set up at the bookstore. And start raiding from there. We're going to go to the tool place. And see if they have anything there. take those because we do have um, the 308 magazine so if we do find somehow a rifle that uses 308 we can make sure we put those in the right thing Oh, I forgot real quick. Let's go uh <laughs> let's go fill up our tank of ga with gas. I forgot about that. And this one's on the passenger side. Okay, it's already set to 30 miles per hour for things. So we want to go around this side here. That might be too close. I might not be able to do anything with it. Let's see if we can get do it. Yep, we can. It also holds a lot of gas as well. It's got a nice sized gas tank on it. Raining. Okay. Also, since it's a truck, it can go off-road pretty well. Figure it out as we go along. Map of Rosewood. Did I already, I already found that one? Okay. I just haven't read it yet. Got in the wrong door. That's one thing I can say is you can get into the wrong door. Pretty easily. Four people here. Get over here.
Zombies cannot hurt vehicles. That is not a thing. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, pretty much nothing but running into things can hurt vehicles. There is a there is a setting in like the advanced trajectory overhaul mods to let you shoot your own vehicle shoot vehicles. Don't want to do that because <laughs> you shoot your own vehicle pretty easily there probably. All right, here's this. Let's see. So I think they all cost like what the thing is. So. We could take one electrical. Uh, we could go ahead and get outdoorsman if we wanted to. We could get runner. Uh, so let's see. Trapper, tidy, plus one cleaning. You know, tailoring would be helpful. Let's get the the uh, sewer. So now we have plus one tailoring, right? Yep, that's great. So that'll allow me to add things to the bag. Um, add attachments to the bag. Also, I think I'm, yep, I got in the back seat again. <laughs> so you go plush. Ooh, speaking of bags, hello, how are you today? Uh, I'm going to punch you to death, is what I'm going to do. Well, actually, now I'm going to smash your face in, because you got stuff. You got stuff. So I'm going to wear these, replace my jeans with them. Riding boots. Why do you have riding boots? Okay. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to use the large backpack. That's going to help us out a lot. All right. It's got me some food in there as well. Nice, man. Nice. So we got two more, maybe three more coming. Yep. Here's this one coming. Got a matchbox. Let's take that. Pokemon Jungle Pack. That's nice. Don't need to worry about the... You know, 45 ACP. Nah. Nope. Let's go on down some more. I think I got into the third seat again. Yep. I sure did. See what this person who's already dead has in them. Uh, nothing. Okay. Got to do the third seat again. It's the middle of service. Oop. Here we go. All right. You got a holster and a weapon on you. Give me that. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Sneaky little bastard. <laughs> you sneaker. You sneaker. I'm going to pop you in the face. Damn it. That scared me. Wear this holster over my jacket. Math of Louisville South. And we got a pistol here, which is... 9mm double stack magazine. It does have some off in it. Okay. Attach that to our holster right. Um, you have a bulletproof vest, but I already have an extra one, so I'm not going to take that. Um, I'll take your watch. You have a shotgun. That's going to be great. Oh, you also have a Beretta pistol as well. 
That's also 9mm double stack magazine. Okay. Nice. Oh, you got a sta stagecoach gun. Uh, two shot, double barrel. Okay. That's nice. We did get one pack of things. We did get one uh, pack of shotgun shells out of the police station. There might be some stuff off in the car. We're going to have to check them. All right. So let me get all this stuff out of here. Yeah, just transfer it all. I don't know if I can get the weapons out, though. It's yeah, shotgun might not be able to go. Yeah, shotgun can't go. Don't have anything else in here. Okay. All right. Let's see about putting the shotgun into the glove compartment. Because that is a thing that you can do. I don't know. It's uh, 3.0, so yeah, it can go in there. <laughs> Hit a shotgun in a glove compartment. That's a big glove compartment. <laughs> it's all about weight and things. Not, not anything realistic, unfortunately. Let us see if we can get these vehicles out of the road. Because, yeah, they're kind of like all over. Gun rack has some stuff in it. Uh, no, nothing. Okay. Get out of here. We're a little bit tired is why we're, um, so slow right now. Okay, do that. Turn that off. Ah, <laughs> let's hope we didn't lock ourselves off in here. <laughs> no, we didn't. That's nice. All right, let's grab the stuff out of the gun rack. So another shotgun, another, that's, that's a five shot. Okay. We can't move this vehicle. We're going to have to tow it out of the way. Interesting. I wonder if it's because this car is in the way is why we can't get in here. Yeah, that's what it seems to be. Yeah, it won't let us. Okay. Another one of those shotguns. We've got plenty of shotguns. We just don't have the shells. Take another lighter. Check the trunk here. Uh, there's a combat knife. Okay. Roadblock, duct tape. Okay, another broken combat knife. Um, bandages, alcohol wipes. I'm not going to worry about any of that. We'll take the duct tape. Uh, gun case doesn't have anything in it. Okay. Let me make sure none of these had, like, the keys to the car in them. I don't think they did, unfortunately. Nope, they didn't. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is just a v vanilla mechanic towing like this.
You don't have to line it up. I'm just lining it up because I want to. Else it might be too close for me to hook it up, get to it to hook it up. Yeah, it is. Let me pull forward a little bit. In the room now. Attach it to it. Lower the drag. <laughs> That's not actually a thing. I'm just having fun. All right. Let's get this over here. Hook it. Okay, with this, we didn't really get to where I wanted to, which is the bookstore, but we got to go back and get some rest. We're already really tired. We're at two, um, we're at two, uh, sleepiness right now already, so we need to try and get some sleep and get some stuff back on us. Let's see, where is the pillow? We need to go get another pack of cigarettes because we're I ain't playing out. There is some. Yeah, there is some. <laughs> I would say there is some. <laughs> okay. So we'll be able to sit here. All right. Let's uh let's do some stuff here. Let's read these maps. Get them all done.
graceful. With graceful, we have uh, make less noise when moving, minus footstep sound radius, 10% chance to trip when running, reduced chance of falling when bumping to a zombie or survivor. And then we have tinkering for dummies, which teaches recipe tinker. And then we have the Nutritionist magazine. It's a big one. All right. Uh, we already have an alarm set for six in the morning. So let's go ahead and go to bed. Uh, I don't remember if I have my pillow in my inventory or not. No, it must be in my bag. Yeah, unfortunate. Now, the reason why I keep things like the maps and stuff is if I do ever want to make a brand new character, I would like to have the maps uh, so I get the maps on the new character. Same with having these things. And I also have nutritionists now, which is good. All right, let's head down to the, see if we can get to the bookshop now. 7.20 in the morning. How you doing? Oh, that's what I saw. I thought he had something like in his neck or on in his face or something. I thought it might be like a screwdriver or a knife or something, but nope. It's the, uh... It was the silver ring that was in their face. Pumpkin Jungle, Map of Moldra. We'll go ahead and read it. Pack of cigarettes. got the handy trait. I don't think that gives us carpentry. Yeah, that didn't give us carpentry. But we did get the other part of the uh, trait, which is increases the uh, doors and stuff, health of doors and stuff. So um, let me go down to food. I need to eat. Uh, grab me a bag of chips and eat it. We're almost having, um, why did the chips just knock our calories down to nothing? What, what, what the hell? Why? That is weird. I'm going to, you know what? Sure. I'm going to just eat a can of oats. It's going to give us a shit ton of calories. Yeah, our weight is now rising. Okay. That was really, really weird. We had like over... We had like so many calories and then it just went negative when we ate that bag of chips. 
That's not how bag of chips works, man. <laughs> That's not how the bag of chips works. Oh, there's a lot in here. Back out we go. Somebody might have just come out that window. There's nobody behind me. Okay. There's a lot of zombies. Oh, there we go. Some beta blockers. That's nice. I get rid of my panic a lot faster. 762 NATO rounds. <laughs> I would like it if we could make sure our bookstore doesn't get busted windows, but I don't know if we can do that or not. I wasn't expecting him to be like right there. Okay. See if anybody's off in here. There. There, let's check the back area. Nope. Nice. Okay, so nobody was in the bookstore. This guy was outside it, so that was good. Uh, box of 4570 Gov. I don't know if that's gun is in this game or not. Maybe. Breakpoint again, pack. Pokemon pack for us. Try and clear out the buildings next to us. Do not climb through a window without removing the broken glass. Don't do that. <laughs> it's not a good thing. This is like a restaurant or something, I think, if I remember correctly. Seemed kind of hot in there. I've, all of a sudden, I was hot for some reason. Well, that's our books. Let's go up here to the next door and go through it. See if there's anything in there.
Oh, there's an empty flask. We could upgrade from uh, the water bottles to that. That probably holds like both of those bottles in one thing. Get some paper in there. The reason I'm in here is because this is supposed to be like a travel place, which is supposed to have maps in it, but I haven't seen a single damn thing. I'll take the glue. Beers. Okay. Like a cigarette, more glue. So this flask weighs now 0 0.5. These two water bottles together are 0 0.57 stack, uh, 1.27 stacked. So they're 0 0.57 when they're here. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to switch to the flask. That'll be enough for me for water. Oh, here we go. There's stuff up here. Central and Northwest and an annotated. Uh, axes, matches, which I shouldn't have took because there isn't hardly anything in those. Bathroom is empty. Bathroom is empty. Kitchen. Take the sugar packets. Uh, let's see. Guess I take the saucepan. Because I didn't take one with me. Uh, grab one of the mops. Grab the sponge. Grab the two oats. Grab the cereal. Two sugar packets. Uh, grab both of those. Uh, let's see. All of this is fresh. Uh, let's see. Oranges. Grab the orange seeds. Peaches. Grab the peach seeds. Apple, grab the apple seeds. Grapefruit, grab the grapefruit seeds. Rest of it, thread off into the freezer section. So, travel place. Not much travel. <laughs> Not many maps here we can read this this is just telling us about zulu i've gone over that before i think i have haven't i uh, let's see this map northwest is this the one no that's the dock area okay map of moldra we can read Where's the uh, map? Where's this one at? Oh, it's here in Riverside. Video store and booze. Okay. So we haven't been... Oh, damn. Oh, that's going to be annoying as hell. Because isn't that... The video store is right next to the freaking tool store. So all this tool store has now is booze in it. Mother... Oh, that's that's annoying that is so annoying all right um take all of this stuff except for the beta blockers and put it in the backpack all that as well we can do.
All right, let me go in here and look around in the store before the end of the video. Okay, can we sleep in this recliner here? We can, okay. We can sleep in the recliner. I'm pretty sure we can sleep in the chair. Yes, we can. Hmm. Problem is, is this is not very secure. I don't see a bathroom. So, hmm. Let me go over here. We might sleep in another place. Is there like a bathroom in here? Is, yeah, I think this is a bathroom back here, right? Yeah, these are two bathrooms back here. So we could sleep in these to be more secure. All right. I'm going to have to think about that before next episode. Going to have to find carpentry so we can take apart these tables and things and get storage set up in here. Um, there is a, well, there's a bunch of bookshelves, but we kind of want to leave the bookshelves as themselves. I would like to unload my truck, though, so we can go do more looting and things, run around, get things before we try to head over to Dinker Dam. But we'll see. So thank you for watching. I'll see y'all later. I hope y'all enjoying this little series. I'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a nice time, whatever time it is in Ellsbarter World. Bye.